<laughs> this one good so uh, I thought I'd do a, a video going back into time for the videos I've been doing and uh, go from there to talk about some stuff so uh, I guess we can start the bottom one here where you see the action going on 72 views uh, this is a, a British Mormon an English Mormon who uh, thinks he can tell the church how to do things better he's just a youngin this is the rising generation of Mormons I have an intended video to do a liberal versus conservative Mormonism and point out how neither <laughs> Mormonism is neither but you know hey if people want to destroy the church from within by all means go ahead and claim liberal and conservatives in the church divide us under and conquer them good luck with that but nonetheless uh, so then I've got some other uh, videos defending the indefensible original Mormonism pragmatic morale morality versus new spiritual witness uh, for the most part you can see that they're they're doing fairly well considering the abuse that I get from YouTube from the, the religious bigots who work there uh, but uh, let's see if I can focus on key stuff uh, this one right here uh, it's not showing anything no oh, there's there you go see and watch later in the lower left YouTube tried banning this video due to the backside of a woman. They called it porn. Just proves my point. Uh, here's where uh, everybody missed that uh, Nelson was calling out the lazy learners. As you notice, I uh, caught the him saying that he's an antichrist everybody missed that but it took a while for ex-mormons to do their videos on conference I don't know why that is uh, true Christ of Mormons will Mormons deny him the answer is yes after those eight months the answer is yes they have denied the Christ I've been doing those videos for you uh, here's a Randall Berg he's still missing he has never shown up for a court appearance he has never been in the news he's just gone and it's been since 13 May 2020 it's going on two years now he's gone they disappeared him because he refused to open back up the airport to put your lives in danger and Governor Herbert had him falsely arrested and he's gone his whole life is destroyed and he, he's just gone <sighs> one Christ to rule them all <laughs> I, these are some classics guys come on Dreaming of Mormon Independence Day. I got over a hundred. Uh, here's the 1923 Articles of Incorporation for the LDS Church. 1923. That's this church. That's when it was founded. Heber J. Grant is the founder of this church. Not Joseph. Not even Brigham. So all that the church tells us is all a big lie and uh, this is when I started the justice for Joseph Smith playlist I guess with this video and then Rico act 
going over and explaining the RICO Act for you guys. Uh, yeah, this is where Oaks, with his hear him, tried to interfere in that court case. They were deciding as to whether the the cop, uh, or actually, uh, yeah, a double one. Yeah, the 13-year-old. Here, this one. LDS Prophet Oaks blames 13-year-old boy for murder by Chicago cop. That's where he, uh, God, this whole video thing he did was just bad timing on his part. And there he is, trying to tamper with with uh, judicial decisions, showing his racism. Uh, Kwaku, official LDS church representative, becoming an official apologist for the church, rather than a wannabe apostle at BYU. <laughs> National Treasure is awesome, Diane Kruger. Uh, but here, this is where I did sex slavery in the LDS Church. This set off a firestorm from Oaks and the church. They were pissed. Because here I am exposing him as a racist and tampering with court cases. And then I do the sex slave trafficking. And then I started doing this kind of, oh, they're not showing it, <clears throat> of uh, little thumbnail captions, Mormon testimonies use mind control uh, as mind control. <laughs> Mormons fear me and my Mormon knowledge. Yeah, literally. I, I, they are horrified because I'm speaking things that they'd never even heard about yeah because you don't do your research and here's sex slave slavery again see 130 views YouTube had to shut this down and here's 128 views for this first one you know this this concerned the church they were deeply panicked and uh, you see, there's the law for slavery and trafficking. And, uh, and so what happened? Well, this video up here, which, yeah, watch later, has no thumbnail. Where's the thumbnail? Hmm. Well, YouTube financially benefits protecting the LDS church. YouTube silences my videos exposing the LDS church. This is only a test. Oh, seven months instead of eight months. That's weird. <laughs> what happened for a month? <laughs> yeah, YouTube shut down my channel. Why? Because of sex slavery and Nels or Oaks's racism. It's just unbelievable. The hatred that they have to cover it up with crime and YouTube plays a part in this and so realizing I'm now back and I'm able to do stuff again I'm also posting on Travis Wayne Goodsell because I went over there and uh, here's where the daughter of President Russell M Nelson was cleared of satanic pedophilia the judges refused to hear the case the Mormon judges refuse to hear the case. So those six people uh, never get their day in court. Isn't that great? Church is so true that they gotta cover things up and destroy people's lives and channels on YouTube. <laughs> and to protect themselves. And you know you're not the true church if you gotta do that. Uh, here's the other stuff, uh, let's see, review of LDS Church financial criminal activity, so I'm back at RICO again, LDS Church extortion price, nobody cared about this one, eight views, guys, guys, 
are you unfamiliar with what a financial crime is? The church can't do it just because they claim that Jesus is their Christ. I mean, dear God. And Mormons hate me for trying to restore the, the church. Like I said, Mormons deny their Christ. Here's Signe Rigdon as the major author of the Book of Mormon. I think with those many lines, I think it's safe to say that Rigney, Sidney Rigdon is the major author. Uh, let's see, here's another conference one. LDS Church President Russell M. Nelson celebrates Jesus Ascension Day. Not. <laughs> we just use the name Jesus. We don't actually believe in him. Mormon Church turned their back on the Jews. Uh, remembering, oh, yes. Remembering fallen LDS prophets of the latter days. Yes. This is just a two-minute video. I eventually did a fuller one explaining it. And then here's a sign in the heavens. And then just posting videos. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people were concerned about Nelson canceling the singles awards. <laughs> but again, YouTube had to step in. It got too much attention at 133 views. <laughs> I pick on Kwaku specifically because he doesn't get it. He did a video trying to claim that the Book of Mormon is true by arguing that the plagiarism within the Book of Mormon is proof of its truth. He calls it consistencies. Dear God. I, it's one of those moments where if you're drinking something, you spew it out all over the place listening to that shocking information. I, and so, yeah, I, I, when I had a website, I gave him the key of translation, <laughs> and he threw it away. <laughs> he wanted nothing to do with translation, just like the prophets. Uh, and so here's uh, Mormon Gathering Place, come to Zion. So I've uh, found out about July 19th, uh, 1840. The Joseph Smith talk from the Joseph Smith papers. Uh, here's the GameStop report. Church had uh, purposely, uh, this is insider trading that was involved with this, where you have the church buying up extra stocks in GameStop, and then all of a sudden, uh, those people on Robin Hood app or whatever it was, uh, helped boost the GameStop, causing that big old ruckus, and the church made nine million off of that little scam. Uh, let's see, use of speech, church temple membership, temple building deception, uh, firecrackers, fireworks, they're illegal. You're only supposed to do them during uh, the 4th of July and the 24th of July. Not supposed to be doing them during New Year's. That doesn't stop anybody around these here parts. But, uh, yeah, you're, this is part of the, the plot to overthrow the government of the world. And, uh, I, it's a land grab thing that they're doing right now. It's completely different than what Hinckley was doing, but it was along those same lines. Hinckley was just trying to do it legitimately, but now it's getting to the final innings. And so Nelson is purposely causing the problems. Uh, there's part of the sign in the heaven alert over the North Pole. We just had one over the South Pole. 
very important. All right, so I'm about to need to take a break here for a moment. So let's see, that's a good stopping point. Uh, LDS Church rejects civil marriages. Yeah, I'm going back to the sex thing again. Cost of being Mormon. Will fixing the LDS Church make it true? So that goes back to the British guy who thinks that if the church, the church should spend its money differently and uh, other suggestions for the prophets on how to run the church. No, it's quite simple. If the church needs to be fixed, it's not true. It's a very simple principle. I don't understand why nobody understands that. <sighs> How tall was he? Huh? All right, I gotta pause here. All righty, where were we? Uh, da, 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 da. YouTube insufficient. LDS Church orders Xfinity to silence me. Yeah, church went after me through Xfinity. All my streaming services come up blank. Uh, the latest I checked, uh, I now see, but I don't hear anything. They just, they all claim that there's nothing wrong on their end. They don't know what's wrong. It's not them. Try somebody else. Nobody wants to claim responsibility. All right, let's see. Church stabs China in the back. Yep. I don't understand why all these countries don't understand what the church is up to here. Church wants to take over all the world. And yet the church keeps getting away with it. Uh, let's see. Prophesied fall of LDS church. Yep. See, all of these things are just signs for Mormons to pay attention. The church isn't true. And this comes from God, guys. These are signs in the heavens. You knew the signs in the heavens were for the latter days, but you just refuse to believe it's for the church. See, here, here was a, a sign on earth. The drought we had. The actual waters of Utah were parted so that the Mormons could pass through on dry land to go back to Zion. And nope, Mormons didn't care. They're not listening. They have the wrong Christ. And so they, you know, they're just bad news, guys. You know, LDS prophets will never lead the church astray? Lie. <laughs> See, here's going over church history. I guess nobody cares. See, here's the prophecy. 3,333 years. When Moses left Egypt. Little did I know it's going to carry over into 3,334. So that's interesting. I have uh, day one still to do for you guys. And see here the news. Historical record of extreme weather in Mormon, Utah. There were so many thumbs down on this. Dear God. They're in denial of what has actually happened in Utah. I had nothing to do with this. <sighs> See here, the church paid for Russia to attack America. He gave us the money trail, and the government refuses to do anything about it. See, LDS Church, I was on a whole kick on that. LDS Church paid for Putin, ordered hacks of Utah Mormons. LDS Last Days Destruction paid for by LDS Church with tithing. 
That's where all this comes from. And uh, civil wars still delayed. Too many apathetic people in America. Uh, and here, here's when I first learned about the solar eclipse or the lunar eclipse on the 19th. Dear God, we we're in a tetrad. I didn't even know it back then. <laughs> and 2:02 a.m. Really? That's what it is? Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe that's why I was saying Monson died at 10.02 p.m. Maybe that's what got me confused. And so here's all of the exodus, you know, helping Mormons. Remember, guys, this is who we are as Mormons? Remember? Any of this sounding familiar? Nope. Nobody cared. <laughs> Here's the LDS church president betrays Mormons for 30 pieces of tithing. <laughs> uh, dear God. Uh, is this the prophet failing to or over... Nelson cancels the exodus. Uh, Mormon identity of Elias in section 110. Everybody thinks they know, don't you? Noah, right? Wrong. It's Jesus. Uh, last call to leave the church. Uh, denying science leads to the death of Mormons. Uh, LDS Church is not true. We're Jewish, not Christian. Everybody knows this, right? No true succession. So here's was a series of videos I was doing. LDS Church is not true. Jewish, not Christian. No true succession. No payment required. Church requires payment. No specific warning. I can't find that guy's video. It's just gone. <laughs> Mormon did it. He was quoting Kimball, but uh, he was trying to claim that the prophets are going to go silent in the latter days. <laughs> They're not going to warn Mormons. They're just going to let them die. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Uh, and tithing is supposed to be for the poor. Seed without fruit is dead. See, a lot of these things are just rehashing of the same topic, but in a different presentation method. Not just by thumbnails, but... But in the content of the video, great and abominable. You know, the Book of Mormon is true. Because it tells us exactly who the great and abominable church is, and that's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Book of Mormon is true. Fruits of spiritual witness. No priestcrafts. And so, yeah, after all that series, it was clear nobody cared. Uh, Mormon shall be cut off. Here's where I start connecting the Joseph Smith history to Deuteronomy 18 and Acts 2. I eventually found Zechariah. It's in the Book of Mormon. We're not Christian. And Mormons holding, or Nelson holding the Mormons hostage so that they can't flee. And they were doing videos on YouTube to attack me. That was weird of them to do because I was using the church news and uh, they were responding through various methods to see what I would pay attention to. Uh, 
and uh, I've shown you the little missionary card that I found at the one bus stop location where I used to go on Tuesdays and I came home and showed it to you and said oh look what the church gave me they gave me a threat and then soon thereafter I didn't stop doing these videos and, and uh, they came after me and so yeah you see the series actually was upsetting them by doing the series that were Jewish not Christian no true succession no payment required no specific warning tithings for the poor seed without fruit is dead great and abominable fruit of spiritual witness no priest crafts and then boom they send me that video as a result are you guys paying attention you know it's here you just have to know what you're looking for they are paying attention to my videos and they're very upset with my videos <sighs> now this church is a mafia crime organization this is what that's me in the emergency room of the hospital <sighs> and they won't even show any pictures of it but then boom <laughs> I did pattern of deaths of LDS prophets and lunar eclipses this is the extended version video two hours of the two-minute one you saw previously uh, oh this is fun I almost missed this one uh, LDS church silences women for general conference <laughs> And Nelson had the audacity to come out and say, Nah, I've gotten rid of the, the regular woman's session <laughs> and put it to just October. <laughs> well, and now we're just going to get rid of it altogether. <laughs> Keep women silent in the church, like Paul suggests women should be. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and I was first but the backlash that everybody responded to forced Nelson to bring it back <laughs> and here's LDS Church replaces Mormons I, you don't see what I see because you're not doing your research you're just going through your daily motions you're not paying attention to the news and what the church is doing on a regular basis and so you miss things these guys are evil they're stabbing you in the back and you just you just let it slide on by oh they would never do anything to hurt us yet they're replacing you you know white supremacists are all paranoid about Jews replacing them so they replace the Jews that you don't see that that same kind of mentality is in the Mormon Church. Mormon Church is so afraid of, you know, being persecuted for their criminal righteous religious views <laughs> that they have to replace Mormons. Get all new people who know nothing of the church. Get rid of all the pioneer generations because they know the truth whether they know they know it or not see in my particular case my family the Fulmer family on my dad's side knew about Joseph Smith's pistol that he got from John Solomon Fulmer and I'd known about it as a kid my parents told me and so I, I'm in church I, in 2017 going over the Doctrine and Covenants and it's time for the lesson of the Carthage Jail and uh, I, uh, my neighbor pointed out hey did you uh, happen to know that Joseph Smith had a, a pistol when he was in jail you know, yeah my family told me oh, I never knew that apparently he had two. Oh, he had two did he and so then I had to do the study on Carthage jail 
then realized, uh-oh, I better do a whole church history, uh, because this is a lot bigger than I realized, and ta-da, here I am today. Joseph Smith was shot in the back by Willard Richards, and Hiram was shot by John Taylor wrestling over my third great-grandfather's pistol. So yeah, I wanted to know. When I want to know an answer, nobody's going to tell me that it's some other way, or that I can't know that answer, or I have to grow up first before I find out, or it's a spiritual thing, only the righteous can know, or it's a sacred secret, you can find out after you're dead, all of that crap. If I have an answer, if I have a question, it better get answered, or I'm going to find that answer, and I found that answer because nobody would tell me the truth. So the prophecies of the latter days. <laughs> Russia kicked out the LDS church. <laughs> the rock and a hat. Destruction of America. Church in progress. And then prophecies, types and shadows, Joseph being sold into slavery by Judah. And here's a vlog I did that I I shared with you guys. That's interesting. Uh, you can see that the church really did damage to me on views after that. Because getting over a hundred it's just not happening anymore and so here's the keystone you know, which keystone are we supposed to have Mormons give you a hint it's not the one we have Mormons would rather be LGBTQ IAPO plus apparently putting IAPO plus confuses people they don't look for that I guess it's too many letters to type and I don't know if binary is one of these I was asking about that the other day. Nobody's helped me understand. I tried Google searching it. There is nothing on Google search either. Come on, guys. If you're going to assign letters to things, you need some kind of source for us to go to so that we can figure it out. And instead, there's nothing. And so here's where uh, the church got punked by Bezos's wife <laughs> she she took down two birds with one stone <laughs> with one rock and a hat <laughs> she is an awesome lady and I don't even know her <laughs> She left after Bezos's penis got exposed by the Saudis. <laughs> now she's she's giving away her half of the inheritance to to blacks, as the church only gave ten million. <laughs> they held a big old press conference. Yeah, the church is so great. I've got the NAACP as my little lap dogs. <laughs> And they're letting him play them. Come on, guys. How many years of slavery? 600? And you haven't figured out that Nelson is playing you. Dear God. Uh, here's the news about the earthquake. That almost became a... Well, that was a breakout video. 78 views, my goodness. Yeah, right there at Temple Square... That's the hinge point of the earthquake fault lines. Cool. <sighs> so there's a Father's Day sign in the heavens. Which is a pattern from last year's Father's Day sign. There's reverse patterns going on, which is very curious. Uh, for murder theft of lies. Oh yeah. You know, the 
Nelson was rewarded for being a criminal. Uh, Book of Mormon repeated Exodus pattern. So I went over in the Book of Mormon with you the Exodus pattern that is a constant theme. And oh, yes, Satanic Desnet Mormons. See that? 64. That was all within the first hour. <laughs> YouTube freaked. <laughs> they had to literally manually go in and shut that video down from being seen anymore. <laughs> they had to delete all of the views <laughs> that were added above and beyond. Oh man, that was awesome. See here, this one, 85. Mormon Desnat threatened to murder me to get gain. I had found out. See here, LDS Church orders Desnat to stand down. 152. YouTube was in freak mode. <laughs> I was able to bypass the algorithm. Uh oh. <laughs> and they just can't let me go. They have to control me. That's what evil people do. The bad guys, the villains, they have to control other people's agency. That's Lucifer's plan of happiness. And they just, they don't care. They delight in being evil. And they have no interest in doing anything good with their lives. To help other people, to lift other people up like Bezos' ex. Dear God. There's all other scriptural connections, signs in the heavens. There's Deuteronomy 19. See, when you send me a death threat, you've invoked Deuteronomy 19. And so here's where I start doing the Nelson with the bag of cash, which eventually expanded. But uh, will a man rob God? Yeah, if he's Nelson <laughs> in charge of tithing. <laughs> And here's my Elijah versus the LDS Baal prophets. I did a series on TWG of this. It was all in a playlist. But uh, I was also doing it on my website too. But uh, yeah, the prophets have nothing to show for their claims of being prophets, seers, revelators, and they don't even claim translator. They just they have no fruit of any of that. And Mormons just go, Oh, the prophets, oh, Jesus, yay! Well, it's false Christ, first of all. <laughs> you know, if you're supposed to be a revelator, you kind of need to reveal things to Mormons. And they don't. They just don't. They keep it all a secret. They use code using certain lines, hoping for a reaction from the audience to chuckle. Oh, yeah, we know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's just, dear God. You know, your supply. You know. I will give them credit for that. To prepare us with a year supply of food. They gave us decades to prepare a year supply of food. And so here we are, a global pandemic, and we're going in year three? Sort of failed on that one, didn't they? And what made it worse is they're not even helping. Oh, we see that your year supply have all been used up. The church is now stepping in with our trillions of dollars to fill in the missing. Because you guys have been faithful tithe payers, and 
and we're giving you a return on your investment because tithing is fire insurance so here you go Mormons we're helping you we're gonna get through this because we're true right nope church is false they're not giving up their wealth you see it all over the scriptures the wealthy don't give their wealth that's why they're wicked there's the windows of heaven it was a fraud <laughs> it never happened <laughs> yep and then more advertising Freudian slips <laughs> and then my review of that repentance video she's an awesome actress but dumb as a brick when a bishop asks you if there's anything else that you need to repent that hasn't been repented of with previous bishops you say no <laughs> and so here's tribute to Joseph Smith on his death thing see notice he's at the bottom he's the founding Christ <sighs> and then yeah poor Joe Sampson man he put a lot of work into this research for this book written by the finger of God and now after I made my comment there on Wikipedia or on Amazon sorry not Wikipedia uh, he just he disappeared you have to buy his book used and so it's, it's kind of a shame that's an excellent book goes over Jewish mysticism that Joseph Smith senior was a part of and in uh, Vermont and is contained in the Book of Mormon and he goes over it <laughs> not realizing he again has exposed the church's play or the Book of Mormon's plagiarism but uh, yeah the 116 pages specifically that's how I was able to figure out that Joseph Smith senior is the actual author of the rewritten 116 pages and so there 19 July 1840 Zion and New Jerusalem and then I gave you a full translation of Abraham facsimile number three nobody cared and so Exodus is still available haven't you guys read your Matthew 24 they warn you don't have it be during the winter time <laughs> you guys I was warning you and you wouldn't listen and now it's the winter time Ugh. God, what does it take to get through to you guys and so here here's the harmony thing uh, it's not yeah you can see the watch later thing that popped up Joseph Smith in the 116 pages in Harmony Pennsylvania that website from that county went over how Harmony Susquehanna River Pennsylvania was not called Harmony Susquehanna County Pennsylvania until after a certain date or before a certain date and so that was before the Smiths got there and I'm pretty sure I linked you to that site in the description below but uh, I mean dear God guys and then here's the uh, the uh, James Huntsman he blew it Tithing is not a charitable donation. You are forced to pay tithing. You are required. It's tithing or uh, it's uh, fire insurance. And that's, that's tax violation. It's not supposed to be used for fire insurance. You can't be a, a tax exempt status with that. Uh, 
Uh, here the LDS Church lawyers attacked me with a fraudulent document. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I did the Harmony north of Pittsburgh and then this guy who clearly was and he's gone. He's gone silent. <laughs> He sends me a comment with the link, or he doesn't give me the link. I have to find it, I think. But either way, I found the document he was referring to, and nope. <laughs> Again, he wasn't listening to the video. This is telling us that it was no longer called Harmony when this document was given. Nobody remembers the rubber chicken, I guess. See there, I used the rubber chicken again. <laughs> Proving Book of Mormon plates true. <laughs> I'm Travis Wayne Goodsell, and I'm a recovering Mormon. <laughs> And why are Mormons telling me how to be Mormon? They're God guys, leave it alone. <sighs> you see, I am the true LDS prophet because Mormons hate me. They love the prophets. You're not supposed to love the prophets, Mormons. If you're a, if you're, if a prophet is true, you hate him. <laughs> Haven't you read that in your Book of Mormon? Come on, guys. And so if you hate me, I must be the true prophet then. Coincidental confirmation. Yeah, that was a that was the word for the month back then. Coincidental confirmation. Yeah. Uh, LDS Church destroys itself. Yeah, part of the liberal versus conservative within the church. Uh, <laughs> explaining, this is an hour, 11 minute, 11 seconds. <laughs> going over. <laughs> oh my god. I will never let him live that down. Nelson will be constantly bothered by that. But apparently he's going to be dying on Sunday, from what I understand. God's best with him. <clears throat> Inconvenient Mormon, last day's apocalypse. Again, more hacking, paid for by the church. And then here the church was doing a news article, because I told them what happens was probably in this botching of Israel video and so they came out on the church news about where they meet for their meetings that I was telling you about confirming that I was true uh, Mormon scriptural prophecies of the second coming 19 July 1840 but nothing's over a hundred dear God oh look he's got no horn What's up with that? <laughs> Mormon God to shock Mormons to soften their hearts. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of, guys. I've been warning you about this. The one day video that I'll be doing tomorrow. I'm staying up late, apparently. <coughs> this will be uploaded tomorrow. Is that uh, all these signs are for Mormons. And for uh, Nelson to, to die on the 2nd of January would just be a clear sign to Mormons. Uh, there'd be absolutely no doubt left in any Mormon's mind at that point that there's something going on. But uh, 
you know, YouTube's got me silenced. But, uh, dear God. So here I find out that Brigham Young was the one who implemented tithing as a protection racket. <sighs> and then four-year mission. Yeah, it's not over yet. But I was going over in my mind. I had a dream back in 2017. Uh, in January, I think. Or uh, after the book signing. Somewhere around there. Uh, so three. It was May when it started. Uh, April, March, February. So yeah, it was it was in February, uh, and uh, I knew from the dream interpretation that I was going to begin a mission, and that's what it was. All these videos, part of my mission, doing research on the church, warning you guys, finding out the truth, and sharing it with you. And then LDS Church 1923 Reincorporation. So I did that one again. <clears throat> that was a two hour video. And here Monson is immediately responding on the church news. They found uh, where I'm paying attention to them and they've been replying back and forth with me. Uh, LDS Church pissed with my Wednesday video. <laughs> Uh, here's a close one. We had 80 views on this one. Would Mormons remain Mormon if the LDS Church were honest and confessed? The answer is yes, they would remain Mormon even after confession. Uh, here's 71. Uh, Thus saith the Mormon Lord to the LDS prophets, let my people go. We're still talking about an exodus and here we are in winter time. You know how cold it is? It's going to be 8 degrees this mor this evening, in the early morning hours. 8! Dear God! You want to be in, in an exodus during that? What is wrong with you people? We had warmer temperatures during the summer. <laughs> Record-breaking, melting your brain temperatures, but still it wasn't freezing cold. Uh, oh, I'm seeing 9-11. Oh, that's the Jewish 9-11. Yeah. <sighs> King Arthur, he is a symbol of the last day's Messiah. Uh, stand up against Tellius Church bullying probably a billion thumbs down on that video. Uh, here's where the church involvement with the UAE temple has gotten them in trouble, but nope. Government wouldn't fall for it. Oh, we're not going to take down the church for this, Travis. Crime is not a crime. Didn't you remember Rudy Giuliani? Mormons remain Mormon if the LDS Church confessed real history. So I'm seeing a pattern within a short period of time here. Uh, let's see, LDS, no, oh, yeah, we started getting signs in the heavens all last summer. That was weird. I'm like, uh, so like, should something happen? <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> and because of the Tetrad. If only somebody would have let me know there was a Tetrad going on. Dear God. So, yes. My time with a lovely Greek Orthodox woman. In Egyptian class. I liked her. She was a nice person. And she obviously liked me, too. From the way she she behaved towards me 
and I, I just, I couldn't get involved. Uh, yep, LDS Church lost the Elijah battle. They keep losing. They show up, they lose automatically. Sore loser church president calls me of the devil. <laughs> he replied. <laughs> You guys don't see this. You guys just have no clue. And that's their whole point, is that you don't see it. They know I see it. That's the whole point and purpose. That's why the terrorists on YouTube, because YouTube has now canceled all thumbs down for all channels. Nobody can see the thumbs down but the creator themselves. And I'm sure YouTube is thinking, oh, okay, we're, we're going to stop bullying this way. No. <laughs> it's going to continue because we, the creators, still see the thumbs down. If you're going to remove the thumbs down, you've got to remove them. And so, yeah, now people are able to actually bully creators in secret. So that only the creator knows that they're being bullied now. And they're God. <laughs> uh, church, yeah, the church is supposed to have the the Jesus comes from outer space to the the Nephites, clueless, or purpose. Well, they know now from me in my videos, but they're still misleading the Mormons. It's literal history. It's true. <laughs> Mormon Jesus criticized LDS church president. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I slammed Oaks on this one. Not only is he a racist, he's the major sexist. He's the one who says it is not God's program. <laughs> to give women the priesthood and priesthood office. And so I decided, hey, I might as well check that document of Joseph Smith's and see what it says. <laughs> oh my god, hilarious. And so here, yeah, I use that same porn pick. And YouTube had previously tried to ban. They were just on a rampage. Dear God. Women are not porn. Number three, not number one. In the Supreme Court's decision on that matter. Murder among the Mormon prophets. That's when that murder among the Mormons came out. <sighs> it's a trip and so yeah I'm starting to increase in views again so 83 for this free Joseph Smith from the lies of the LDS Church and then revisiting LDS Church excommunication of James J. Hamula 131 my goodness and so yeah YouTube is starting to slack on shutting me down as I'm starting to break through to people. And there's the dead branch. But I'm not sure if it got struck by lightning. It was in the dark, so I couldn't tell if it had burn marks, but yeah, there was a lightning strike out in front of our house. Uh, yeah, my LDS church Oh, my Wednesday video. Okay. Yep. I was doing announcements of Wednesday videos, and YouTube Mormon employees were catching on and going, making their shift for that morning to shut down my videos. You know your church ain't true if you have to commit crimes to protect it. 
interestingly, in this Art of the War with a Chinese dragon, uh, the year of the dragon is 2024. King Arthur, Arthur Pendragon. So even the Chinese know all about this and the prophecies. Uh, sealed plates of the Book of Mormon revealed. 74 views. That's impressive. Mormons, stop being evil. Read the damn Book of Mormon. 86. Yes. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> and then here, they're still doing the healing power of gratitude. They won't ban that video. YouTube keeps it going to make money off of it. And then hashtag or asterisk 45. It still can't get over. <laughs> you see, you guys don't get it. You don't see. You're not paying attention. You're not following the news and the church news on a regular, consistent basis to know what's going on, to catch these things. I'm the one that triggered Trump <laughs> to say the oranges of the investigation that morning. <laughs> it was from my website. Oh, it was hilarious. <laughs> I couldn't believe he did it. <laughs> oh. And so even the Greeks, you know, they had a sign in the heavens that happened during this tetrad in the first, between the first and the second of the lunar eclipses. <sighs> Dear God. Mormons, you're being warned. And you're not listening. It's winter time now. Uh, yeah, they were trying to scare us about Yellowstone potentially blowing. That's a super volcano. That will destroy the United States if that blows. <sighs> and so here, there's the COVID stats. Straight from the Utah COVID website. You can see where sending the kids back to school was a bad idea. They didn't listen to the medical professionals. And those are the consequences of not listening to the medical professionals. Kids died. And it's like they have no remorse. They have no guilt for what they did. They're not even stopping to prevent further deaths of kids, of other people, of human beings. This is how cold-hearted Mormons are. And they're just following what everybody else is doing. Well, everybody else is jumping off the cliff. We might as well do it, too. God. It's just heart-wrenching. And then, correcting church history. Signs in the heavens. And then, correcting the concept of Millennial Zion from Paleo-Hebrew. I found my battle updates picture that I used on my website. Remember when I had a website? Lost Gospel of Christ reveals church is not true. <laughs> Didn't get enough attention. Prophecy fulfilled. LDS church destroyed. That part of that, uh, uh, the part of the checklist is that the church is supposed to be destroyed. Babylon the whore is supposed to f fall. There's the whistleblower who testified in the Huntsman case. And then the history of tithing in the Mormon church. Mormons are defenders of the faith, not defenders of the truth. Here's where CNN lied about the church. Oh, we're, we're giving you a summation. Oh, here's when the president quits. Reverend Brown is now taking over the church. Because apparently we have to get 
other people outside of the church to tell Mormons not to be bigoted and racial and sexist and prejudiced of any kind. Uh, this got a lot of attention, helping Mormons after the collapse of the corrupt LDS church. But nobody cared about the Divergent series. I tried to do that video. That was an awesome video series. I like that one. Uh, Sign in the Heaven Alert, 22 August. <laughs> and here's 21st of August. See again. Interesting. So there was there was a sign on this month year also. Huh. Okay. But yeah, Monson dies. 20 years after making me their enemy because I said Joseph Smith is a translator. Will an LDS prophet rob God? Yes! So yeah, it was a blue harvest full moon. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, there's been so many. I haven't been putting them in an, a file separate to keep track of them. They're just all jumbled into the big file system. Dear God. And then the Mormon bullying is destroying the church. Getting the church in trouble. You gotta be good. Because when Mormons are good, then people see that the Mormons are good. And then they think, oh, the church must be good because the church is teaching them to be good. But nope, Mormons are being bad. So people see that Mormons are bad and they say, oh, well, the church must be teaching Mormons to be bad. So I'm not wanting to be a part of that kind of a church. It's a real simple concept and Mormons just don't care. They're just easily triggered when people like me point out, hey, you guys are being bad. You should stop. Oh yeah, we'll show you! <laughs> and here the LDS Church asks a judge to cover up crimes. Dear God! The judge just let him get away with it. <sighs> and so here I did some fun stuff for you and nobody cared. Oh, this one, somebody cared. 77 views. Mormons reject Joseph Smith upon whom the LDS Church is built. And that's cornerstone capstone scripture. You know, Mormons rejected the founder. And yet, the latter-day Christ is going to replace the great and abominable church prophets. And then here's the Kool-Aid that I started adding in. Yeah, there it is, over here. Mr. Kool-Aid is with the bag of money, and I had the temple with the inverted pentagrams emphasized, and the idol god Jesus. Dear God. He, <laughs> he says the church is the cornerstone, and then says Jesus is our cornerstone. <laughs> you don't have a cornerstone of cornerstone. What a dumbass. He expects Mormons to be dumbasses, and they were. God. See, nobody knows what Hamusius is. See, this, I was real excited about doing this thumbnail. This one right here. <laughs> Mr. Kool Aid has a fig leaf. <laughs> nobody cared. I 45 minutes of a video, and I spent a lot of time on this thumbnail because the. the uh, text was difficult to get on there but Brigham Young and Temple Endowment of Porn 18 plus in Utah County <laughs> and notice Adam is in the position where Jesus is actually I think it's supposed to be our Heavenly Father yeah and then Brigham Young is Jesus oh, God the things I do and nobody appreciates whole world is watching the church. <sighs> so here Joseph Smith prophesied. Mormons deny and are shamed worldwide, especially lately because of MTC. 
to God. So my goodness, we've got a long ways to go here, don't we? And it's almost nine. <clears throat> Moses is the Mormon Christ. I mean, Joseph refers to him. And here, I... Do you not see this thumbnail? She's leaning, and he's making a goofy look, which is shows that she was the one who made this thumbnail. This is what you do when you have a crush on a guy. All women know it. Don't tell me otherwise. I know you better than you think I do, or that you want me to know. You're not women of mystery, as you so suppose. And it's okay. Because the real you is pretty cool. You don't need to be women of mystery. But, uh, yeah, she's totally making the moves on her boss as an adulteress. And he's the groomer as a psycho for his profession. He knows exactly how to groom people, and he's done it. You can see it right there in that thumbnail alone. And you know word got back to her because the part two, this was a part one, part two has them separated. She's now leaning the other way and he's even leaning away as well to make sure that everybody knows <laughs> they're keeping it a secret now. Dear God, I even listened to the first little bit of it. And she's going, oh, yay, oh, John, you're so awesome. You're so smart. Oh, wow, well, John, John, John. She has been fully groomed. And all I get for it is ex-Mormons upset with me. He's a good man. He's letting us share how we've been groomed by him, too. Oh my god! <sighs> so, anniversary. Oh, yep, here it begins. September. <laughs> this was also on the church's nerves. And then the, here I go. Here's where I start to figure it out. The anniversary of Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon with the four time visit by Nephi and the four-year visit the two patterns of fours for September and I thought that was in and of itself I didn't realize that that was the start of what is about to happen on Sunday Wow but yeah all oh, the church was furious that I figured that one out Book of Mormon is the word of God as far as it is decoded correctly. That was an awesome line, guys. So here, here's 9-11. Yeah. Church is covering up 9-11 historical murders. And more murders were found in the news. The burial site. The church then had covered up had that guy fired God. and then see 21 22 September and then more about September more about September more about September truth about Joseph Smith videos I even did a introduction to a whole series of them here and so yeah, and then James Huntsman loses because he called tithing a donation. Evil Mormons deceiving. Uh, washing of the harvest moon before Mormon abomination of desolation because of September 22nd. Mormons to warn neighbors about September 22nd. Summary, Joseph Smith's end of the world date, September 22nd. <laughs> Did I put? Yeah, 21. 
Ormonds, what did you think LDA Latter-day Saints meant about September 22nd? Mormon God to take vengeance against the LDS Church for Boy Scouts, which was separate. Uh, Mormon conundrum, Moroni's visit to Joseph Smith, September 22nd. Review prophecies fulfilled of the first year of the Mormon Latter Days. That was 2017. And then 2020, Latter Day prophecies fulfilled. Doing another one. Ten virgins, September 22nd. I didn't realize that it was just the first phase. Then we're going to Revelation 12 with Joseph Smith translation, Revelation 12, and then. We have January 2nd, and I just found out the other day or this morning or something like that, that it's connected to me 24 years ago when the church turned me into their enemy because Joseph Smith is a translator. And so no Mormon knows the day or the hour of 22 September 2021 after midnight. <laughs> it was hilarious and nobody cared, but the church cared. And here we go. 154 views. Finally got over 100. Final, final YouTube video of TWG. Terrorists win. They were hacking my computer. And so a month goes by trying to get the hackers to leave me alone. And then, boom, the news just broke a bombshell. The secret combination Black Book exposes Mormon connection. This was a membership listing of those in America trying to overthrow America, who are purposely trying to rewrite history, that are trying to rewrite laws for their agenda to destroy America. And the Skousens have been a part of it. And Oaks has been connected to people in there from the Heritage Foundation and at evangelicals dear God and so I was testing to see if I can be allowed to post videos again and sure enough I was and uh, Mormon warning alert LDS Church president and Lucifer doctrine 79 views that's that picked up over time that was not instant and then conference see 140 they, I thought they were shutting me down for conference when no, they were pissed about September 22nd. They had to shut me down and got terrorist cyber attacks on my computer to do it. And so uh, realizing now I'm able to do videos again, I did the two conference issues and so I'm back. <laughs> and Nelson warns Mormons to wear their magic underwear. He was actually giving me a death threat. See, President Russell M. Nelson, perils in the coming days. That's the death threat to me. That comes from Liberty Jail, where Joseph Smith says perils by false brethren. He was calling me out. <laughs> and so, as a result, Deuteronomy 19 kicked in. But it had already been kicked in, because September 22nd, it was already foreordained, Nelson. You just did your part because you're evil. And so, yeah, again, I'm trying to warn Mormons about John DeLynn. Addressed to all, un all Mormon unbelievers. I'm trying to get you guys to understand, too. And then a direct letter to Nelson in a video form here. Say, I did it before that billionaire did. 71 views on that one. 
Mormon duty to whistle blow on LDS Church. If you're an American, you have to whistle blow. America first, <laughs> not church. <laughs> no one is not the KKK. America first. Loyalty is to American government, which is of the people, by the people, for the people. And so, yeah, then I'm starting to find other stuff. And then here's the Christopher Columbus Book of Mormon Code. It's actually the Knights Templar. And then, yeah, Elder Stevenson becomes a billionaire. And then I go over the succession crisis again. And LDS church historian lies about the Nauvoo Temple. Oh, that's where the priesthood was established. Dear God, what was all the John the Baptist, Peter, James, and John, and the Kirtland Temple all about then? And then apocalyptic literature. I'm trying to teach you guys what apocalyptic literature is so that you can understand September 22nd and uh, the Book of Mormon. Oh, yeah, there's a sister missionary set the Joseph Smith Memorial building on fire. They never came out with the, the investigation results. The church's statement was all that was needed, and the fire department was gone. Nothing to see there. <laughs> the sister missionaries got away with burning it down. And then Adam on Diamond decoded. That was 117. There's more there that wasn't decoded. Doctrine and Covenant still has encoded words and names. You can't say you got it all if there's still some in there. And then John Oliver, it's too bad he's gone on vacation because he was helping, tried to get SNL to help. And, uh, you know, fun times. But yeah, China's threatening Taiwan. Russia's threatening Ukraine. Those are just distractions to pull us our attention away from what's going on right here in America. But nobody listens to me. There's the Danite Sacred Secret. Oh, yes, I was banned. Yes. Yes. Oh, there we go. There was another banning here. So what was this one about? It doesn't seem to... Because, uh... Huh. Yeah, what was this one? This was before... See, Joe Elder, living LDS prophet preaches founder Joseph Smith is a fraud, and they just ban this video outright. And so, yes, you see that it's on the other channel. And so, there, there is nothing wrong with this video. They just banned it. They didn't give an explanation. They just banned it. And I appealed, but yeah, when you've got the YouTube employee who banned the video, who gets to do the appeal also, of course he's going to deny the appeal. But yeah, I, the prophets preach that Joseph Smith is a fraud. They can't argue with me on this. You know, I'm the one who came to Utah saying Joseph Smith is true. And all Mormons attacked me for it. So don't give me that crap. I'm now a dead man walking because of that. And they just outright banned that video because the prophets were pissed. So, yeah, now we're getting more recent stuff. And then, 
yeah, Nelson orders my assassination. They were out to get me. They were out to destroy me, and they did, finally. They got the one neighbor infected, hoping that I would come in contact with coronavirus, put their lives in jeopardy as they were in the hospital for a total of over a week. They had to go back to the hospital a second time. Dear God. I mean, they were pissed. And they got me now. I'm a dead man. And YouTube is aiding and abetting and criminal violations of extreme terrorism. Yeah, there's the the Mormon who was commemorated on Bel Mare. Dear God. See, they're silencing my videos here because of the ban. That's what happens. They, they ban my videos and that causes a drop in viewership because they punish you in more ways than just banning your video that goes into the algorithm as shut this guy down he's already got a warning now Mormon extreme hate with religious bigotry they just don't care Yep, there's Holland, gave me a death threat. First Nelson, then Holland. And then boom, they got me. Yeah. Alrighty, I think that's it for now. Yeah, this is when I saw Aladdin. Oh, she was just awesome. And that singing performance added into the, the live movie version. Oh, breathtaking. So yeah, this is one that I'm disappointed with you guys. <laughs> the founding of the LDS Church versus the founding of the Illuminati. This helps understand why the church never got incorporated. So I just found out the other day that uh, Martin Harris went and joined the one guy who broke off from Joseph Smith who incorporated his church. But uh, here's the pattern of the deaths of the LDS prophets. You can see the, the, see the uh, chart that I made to try to find out if there's a pattern. And yes, there is. And then here, YouTube threatens YouTube creators for January 5th. They're not going after commenters who are bullying us. They're threatening us so that they can threaten me. Oh, yes, look at this. Yep, the plot to overthrow the world governments. Oh, this infuriated the church even more. That's what finally did it to, you know, the banning of my video, the death threats. Yeah, here they finally, they got me when I exposed that they were going to overthrow the world governments. There's the James Bond Spectre meeting that James Bond crashes. And yep, the, ways, the Way to Perfection by Joseph Fielding Smith Jr. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Because. Where do I start showing it in the thumbnail? Yeah, here we go. There it is, right there. That's all, folks. I'm a dead man. They got me. And it will be 24 years. January 2nd. Yep, and then there's my brother Todd, lost 15 million Mormons, so that the church can't do their membership reporting. Oh, dear God. And so, yeah, the Exodus cover-up. 
man. So yeah, when uh, the church first locked me up in the concentration camp of Utah, the Nazi concentration camp, uh, the uh, world global economy collapsed. So what happened? Monson died on the 2nd of January. So are you sure, church, that you want to destroy my life, knowing what you know happens when you attack me? I guess they do. And so, porn and divorce. I was expecting more on that one, but nope. But yeah, the church got me. They followed through with their death threats. There's the Nazi co Nazi concentration camp in Utah. In this video, I explain it to you guys. And so now we're getting into Revelation 12 territory for Joseph Smith. Revelation 12 revision. Well, and then I've got the I've got the tetrad. I've found out about the Tetrad now. Right after I'm destroyed. Man. The timing of it all. Dear God. Mormons betray their faith as Joseph Smith prophesied prophecies fulfilled. Yeah, you guys are not paying attention like you need to be. Things are about to happen that you're going to be left wondering, what the hell just happened? Why didn't we know about this? Here, a breakout video with the billionaire. Wow. Alrighty. Nobody likes my faith football. Come on, guys. Alrighty, so let's stop the recording. No. So three on the latest one. Alrighty. I'll do this tomorrow, obviously.